I will try to show how to carpet carpeting the wheel arches using note like a four way or 3D or something like that carpet but like a, with thick thick carpet. It's a like a we can like a stretch it a bit but it's not like a carpet let's say, call it like a stretch it or something like that. I choose three pieces especially in different colors just to not mixing them. So this is like a Veltrin, quite thick carpet. It's like a, around 500 gram per square meter. And now you see we can stretch it about very little. Nearly nothing. Oh, we can stretch but not much. It's quite thick. Here is a carpet you can stretch four-way carpet, 3D carpet or something like that, you see you can stretch it. So it's easier to carpet not flat surfaces and everything. And this carpet from what I remember is something like a 370 gram per square meters. And here is a cheap stretch carpet. Also also different producers, different or sellers, different names, and you can stretch it even a bit more. What's the difference? Let's say, let's try to make a kind of, of maybe not experiment, but something to to show what's the difference in car this carpet covering. I have this same three pieces and let's try to look how it looks where we try to I don't know if it works or not. Ouch. Okay. Opposite direction. You see through this cheapest you, right now you see the, the light through this bit better stretch carpet not yet and this is completely untransparent it's not true to tell the truth because all this all these pieces can like uh, pass okay I think right now will be a bit better So this is the main difference, so it's nice to do, to work with this carpet, it's a bit different technology when you're carpeting than this non-stretchable, but it means if light passes through this carpet it means it's quite thin and he never cover all the tails, means he cover all the tails but not like as move them. With, if we're using this carpet, we can cover some surface imperfections. With this, also, but less. But with this cheapest one, sometimes it's not cheapest. Sometimes they sell it like you know, other with other prices. So with this cheapest one, if we carpeting something, the all in, all imperfections of surface will be visible. Maybe not in the case of flat surface, totally flat surface, surface, but will be visible. So for me, the most important thing when you buying the carpet is asking the seller about weight of this carpet. I think the minimum is a 350, 370 per square meter for, for a carpet to be like a useful. It's nice. Take a look at this. Even Right now you see how lights go through. Second one, better. And this is the black one, dark. Thank you. 
as you see it's not perfect it should be a till the surface of floor in, ca in my case it came up five meters higher We need sharp blade, like top. Sharp, I mean sharp. It's not like a blade was was looks sharp, looks fresh. We cut somewhere here in this place. Yeah, just like in a place where it starts like it. Not starts. It's still flat before it starts bending. To the truth to, to can be a bit higher, a bit wider. Right. Okay. And along the floor. A bit dry. A choice. You can have a fresh glue and we get high on, on the solvent or <laughs> And right now from this point yeah, to somewhere here, of course cutting two layers of carpet at once.
looks like that so it have to be real fresh and sharp blade because other way it starts like a pulling the, the carpet pile and it not looks right now right, right now it looks seamless here is a joint yeah you see a bit but anyway it will be under the seat but if something looks good it's better of course the bottom joint not really looks so nice. Who made this blade? And right now. I feel so this blade are not sharp enough after two cuts. This blade can be good if you want to you know, sharp the pencil or cut a piece of something, but not in case of carpeting. Oh yeah, I feel it's fresh. Okay, let's leave it for the time being and do the same on the other side. The last 10 mil of this joint you have to cut at least in three four rounds. Other way. three four rounds and in the meantime you have to like that to tell you the look of this joint depends on <laughs> except like uh, the, 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 the skill uh, uh, depend very much on two different two other things it means about on carp type of the carpet and type of the glue but it's not like a predictable
have to be done till the moment it's no like a outside let's say outside edges of this joint it seems like it's a two carpet layers together inside and we have outside edges so these outside edges have to be like a flush is still sticking out the joint but not much but no like pushing this joint inside You see where the joint is, especially <laughs> if you are like a person who, who, who made it, but it looks sometimes, like I said, it depends on the carpet, glue, nearly everything. So if you do only two pieces, it's hard to find two arches it's a hard to find how to do it right to get real seamless joint but it's possible because from sometimes even in the same shipment same delivery the carpet are depend on the on the light so it can be visible a bit more or a bit less okay let's well, start do the same on the second second side we change the blade on the first side like I said from this point Well, through the carpet is a special thick carpet is quite forgiving so if you make a mistake you can always try to repair it
I have to bring different. Let's try with, with different box, different brand. I'll switch brand, but just bought. A yeah, bit better. I think with this light from the top is joint is more visible. If you, if I cut too much in the middle, in, in the beginning, it will be gap, and it will, it will never close. So you have to start from beginning with new piece of carpet.
ok We just cut this. Always is a work uh, uh, left piece of it because usually the, the board going, going here. Sometimes we have different ideas, but usually. 